Hello everyone, my name is PythonGB and welcome back to another episode of my Python Plays Minecraft Let's Play. We're on the 58th episode, my friends, and thank you so much for the support you showed in the previous episode, my friends, and indeed for the series so far. It is super appreciated. Now, today, we're going to be doing some, well, we're going to be doing two main things today, but before we go ahead and get into them, I just want to go ahead and show you guys the fact that I've gone ahead and I've started to utilize this storage room up here. As you can see, I've got a whole bunch of chests going here my friends a lot of them are not filled up yet because i don't really have enough blocks to really start filling stuff up so you know we've got like cobblestone we've got solid stone little stone variants including moss stone furnaces stone bricks all that kind of stuff there's loads of stuff going on and this is for more sort of generic blocks you know we've got obsidian we've got glowstone and then over this side is more of the sort of item side of things so we've got like mob drops this is going to be a section for mob drops this is going to be a section for food slabs plants redstone stuff all that kind of stuff and then this one here is going to be my valuable section as you can see well i've started to go ahead and fill some of these in so we've got like iron we've got gold and we do have some other stuff as well but i want to go ahead and get the ore variants of these blocks so i can kind of go with the same pattern we've got emeralds as well and this one here is going to be spare so i imagine this one might be a, a weapon slash tool chest so yeah things are looking good so in terms of other things i've been doing since the last episode i actually decided that what might be a cool idea is for us to go ahead and dig a tunnel from this place here to my skeleton spawner dungeon area because believe it or not they are actually very very close together which is why as you can see we have a bit of a tunnel right here so let me just go and show you just how close we actually are to this dungeon there's the there's the nether portal for it as you can see there and if we just go past it boom here we are it really is a very very short distance between the two locations, between the Skeleton Spawner and the Project Erebor Central Room. It is pretty freaking sweet. So, what I thought we'd do to start off today's episode, my friends, is go ahead and work on this tunnel. Because, as you can see, it looks a bit barren, a bit a bit rubbish, to be honest. It looks a bit rubbish. So, I really do think that what might be a cool idea is if we were to go ahead and spruce this thing up a bit. I think using a combination of, of stone bricks and some sort of wood would be quite nice. Maybe chuck some leaves in there as well to try and match up with this here central room kind of dealio you know what i'm saying so here we go let's head in here real quick we've got ourselves a leaf chest in here now which is pretty cool uh spruce leaves uh i don't know i don't really know what kind of wood and stuff i want to use to be honest so hmm okay so we've got ourselves a couple stacks of oak leaves we've got ourselves a little bit of wood Albeit not a great deal. In fact, at all, there's really not a great deal there. And uh, we've got ourselves a heck ton of stone blocks. Regular, solid, smooth stone blocks. So, here we go. Let's just head down here real quick. And let's try to come up with some sort of system whereby this thing will work real nicely, okay? So, as you can see, we are going to try to utilize a little bit of glowstone in here to spruce things up a little bit. And talking of sprucing things up a little bit, one thing that I think might not go amiss is a little bit of leaf action. So, maybe what we do is do something like that. Ooh. Ooh, I'm kind of liking that. I've got to say, I'm actually kind of liking it. Okay, so let's go ahead and put some of these in here like so. There we go, looking good. And let's try to add a little bit more width to this thing by doing this. There we go. It gives the whole tunnel just a little bit more airiness, I guess might be the word. Um, so there we go, that's looking kind of cool. Let's try and figure out how we're going to do the sides though real quick. So maybe what we do is uh, something like this. Uh, yeah. I'm liking this tunnel already, my friends. It's looking really nice, isn't it? I'm kind of liking this. Huh. Okay. We're going to need a heck ton more spruce wood, though, because we have just ran out. Like, quite literally, we have just ran out, which kind of sucks. So, yeah. But, yeah, i got to say, this is looking a lot better than I first thought it would do. I haven't actually really utilized much of the stone bricks at all. So, hmm. Okay, maybe I bought a bit too much stone bricks for me, more than I needed to. Hmm, I don't know, man. I just don't know. But whatever the case may be, I'm going to go and get myself some more resources, and I'm going to continue on with this tunnel design, and we'll see how it looks in just a sec. 
Alright guys, so this is the progress I have made so far. I've made some very minor adjustments to the little entrance area right here. We still have ourselves the stone brick stairs, but what I've gone ahead and done is I've put some glowstone behind the leaves, rather similar to this right here. So yeah, this is looking really, really nice in my opinion. It's looking nice and airy. I feel like there's a decent amount of room in this tunnel, so it doesn't feel too claustrophobic, which is really, really nice when it comes to having a tunnel, because, you know, tunnels, uh, they tend to be quite claustrophobic, and, you know, that's not really a nice thing to to feel so yeah i feel like it's i feel like we've done a pretty good job so let's go ahead and start on the staircase just up here real quick uh, we're gonna need ourselves a lot more stairs than that my friends holy crap holy all right so let's just head back up here real quick uh it feels it feels so nice running through this tunnel man it just feels right dude i feel like there should be something in the center here or should there i don't know I feel like there should be something, but then again, I might be uh, thinking about, you know, over-detailing it, I guess. But, I don't know. I, I feel like this works pretty nicely. Maybe what we could do as a bit of a an addition or a change is maybe we could go ahead and do a little bit of that. How does that look? Uh, I kind of like that. Yeah, that's looking a lot better, isn't it? That's looking real nice. I like that, dudes. I am liking that a lot. So, what we need to do now is we need to try and figure out some sort of pattern or some sort of way to make this pattern potentially continue downstairs. So, going down as we go along. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm going to try and figure this out real quick. And I'll bring you guys back for a progress update very shortly. Alrighty guys, so we're back for another progress update and that is to say that I have managed to get some of the staircase done As you can see I've gone for a similar pattern to up here in that behind the leaves is a bunch of stone blocks or stone brick blocks Should I say and then I've got myself some glowstone poking out as well, which basically removes the need to have torches So yeah, everything's looking good. It may look a bit dim dark up here But believe it or not look at it light level 9 it only gets down to it's still pretty high So no hostile mobs will be able to spawn which is awesome Awesome. So now what we need to do is we need to go ahead and continue the pattern down here And I already have an idea of how exactly to do it, but before I do that can I just say There's some moments in Minecraft where you just think I am literally God and in this case It's because I accidentally got the calculations for the spacing between these uh, here log uh, pillars, absolutely perfectly correct. So as you can see, there's three block gap between each one, and I accidentally managed to get it perfect first time. So I'm just like, yep. Ah, feel good about this, my friends. I deserve a freaking cup of tea for this. <laughs> oh, but it is, it's, it's just those moments where it's just like, yeah, buddy, I'm freaking epic at this game, bud. <laughs> but uh, anyways, let's go ahead and get back to it, my friends. Let's get back to the task in hand, which is, of course, going ahead and uh, continuing this pattern. So as you can see, we've got our pattern going right here. And what I need to do now is I need to dig myself back a uh, another, another further block. So here we go. We're going to put the glowstone bit right there, and then we're going to surround it with stone bricks. And then, of course, we've got the uh, oak leaves to go in here like so. And that is looking awesome. Oh, yeah. So there we go, my friends. That is the pattern we're going for. All right, guys. So I'm just in the process of putting in the last few blocks. And then we will be done with this tunnel. And, uh, yeah. Done it in pretty good time as well, my friends. I'm feeling pretty good about it. So there we go. Go through this side. You've got yourself a bunch of bone blocks in this little room right here, which of course houses the skeleton spawner. For those of you guys who don't remember or you are unsure of how this thing works, you have to spawn or you have to stand on this particular block. Bock? <laughs> oh, good lord. You have to stand on this particular block in order for the skeletons to spawn because unfortunately I think I made this uh, whole room a bit too high in terms of altitude. So, uh, yeah, you have to stand on this particular block otherwise they won't spawn and, uh, yeah. It, it just won't work. So, yeah. So, anyway, so, yeah, we've got to service this room. We go through the portal. You have the option to go through it. But if not, and you want to get back to Erebor, you could just go up this epic-looking staircase instead. And might I say, epic is the right word for this thing as well. I love this thing, man. I love the tunnel that we've got going on here, my friends. And, yeah, it's just really nice. I'm very, very happy with it. And also, what it means is we've managed to fill in our first ever little room area. So, this isn't even a room, it's a tunnel. So, maybe this one will go off to a room. We've got all these little areas here that could potentially go off to rooms. And we've got one of them pretty much done now, which is a pretty awesome. So, anyways, guys, I guess it's time to move on to something else. Oh, there we go. Rain, rain, go away. Do not come back another day. There we go, that's how to start off a morning. Check this out, my friends. We are back at the Kingdom Factions Project. And boy, oh boy, 
Does it look amazing with shaders? Look at how vibrant green that is, dude. That's amazing. You, you, sir, you, you're not making my morning very good, are you? Will you please go away and stuff? Right, there we go. Oh, oh, hey, buddy. My brothers are coming to greet me as well. Go get out of here, dude, bud. Hey, check this out. It looks amazing. Check it out. Look. Just look how green that is, man. I love it. I loved Minecraft back in the day when there were rainforest pines. Can you guys remember the old rainforest pines with the extremely lush green grass and foliage? Oh boy, do I miss that biome and wish it was back in this blooming game. But anyways, yeah, we're back here at the Kingdom Fractions project. And I thought today what we may go ahead and do is we may go ahead and work on the bridge. Because quite frankly, the bridge is looking terrible. It is a temporary bridge and I want to make something a bit more grandial, I guess. That's probably not even a word, but I want to make it seem a bit more grand, my friends. I want to go ahead and make a wooden bridge using spruce wood. And I don't know. I don't know. I think this is going to be an amazing build. So let's just have a quick look to see what we've got around here. Got some uh, okay, generic stuff. Oh, we've got an ender chest in here. I actually emptied my ender chest before I came here, just in case we wanted to go ahead and pick some stuff up and take it back with us. But uh, yeah, what I'm going to start off by doing is I am going to start off by digging or chopping down a whole bunch of 2x2 two two spruce trees because I kind of need the resources. <laughs> like, I need a heck load of resources. Like, I don't just need resources. I need a lot of resources, my friend. So actually, I'll tell you what. While we're going ahead and doing that, we're going to go ahead and jump into the comment question of the video, which comes from General Gaming. And, well, to be honest, from a lot of other guys. No, don't use shaders, please. That is the comment. That is literally it. Make your mind up, people. <laughs> That's the only thing I'm going to respond to with that comment there. Because literally, after I put out the shaders tour for the 150th episode special, literally every single comment I saw, apart from maybe one or two, was to go ahead and continue using the shaders. And now it seems all of a sudden a bunch of people are speaking up and saying, no, please don't use shaders, I'll stop watching and I'll unsubscribe. I'm just like, wait, what? <laughs> I don't, I just don't get it, man. So, to go ahead, in fact, I, before I go ahead and get into that, I just want to go ahead and say my personal opinion, which is, I adore these shaders, okay? The Silda Shaders mod, I've got the high setting, by the way. I've got the high one, not the extreme one, because the extreme one uh, damages my performance quite a decent amount. And as you can see, the high one, it does the job real nicely. We've got the smooth 60 FPS, or 120, I play like 120, because why not? But so yeah, I love these shaders because it does everything, in my opinion, correctly. It does light correctly, it does dark correctly, it does rain correctly. It does everything correctly, in my opinion. It really does. And as a result, I am a, I'm a firm fan of the Silders shader pack. So yeah. But anyways, guys, to, to move on, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and put up a YouTube poll. And also I'm going to put up a straw poll in case you guys can't get polls on YouTube for whatever reason. So, if you look, there is going to be an information card on screen for you guys right now with a poll with which essentially asks the question, do you want to see shaders continue to be used in this series or not? And it's going to be the same as a straw poll, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it running until the next episode rolls out, which could be in a few days or next Saturday as per the norm. And I'm going to combine the votes together from both polls, the YouTube poll and the straw poll. And whichever one has the highest percentage of uh, votes, then I will, of course, go ahead and do it. So if the shaders has the highest votes, then I'm going to continue using shaders. If normal mode without shaders has the highest amount of votes then i'll go ahead and stop using shaders so go ahead look on screen and also in the description for the straw poll and yeah go ahead and vote should we use shaders or not there you go my friends don't say that i don't go ahead and take your stuff into consideration because i really do that i want to try and make that point really you know perfectly clear i always try my best to satisfy as many people as possible obviously it is impossible to satisfy everyone so unfortunately there's going to be people who might not like the decision that comes out of this but uh yeah just uh it's 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 a democracy basically <laughs> so yeah alrighty so we need to go ahead and start working on this bridge and like i said i want to make it look a bit grand and epic and super awesome so i think what we're going to start off by doing is coming up with a bit of a design for the actual bridge platform itself to go across so here's what we're going to go ahead and do we're going to make ourselves a bunch of stairs we're going to make ourselves a bunch of slabs and then if i probably need a little bit more stairage than that uh, that's looking kind of nice there we go. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to head up the top of this pillar real quick, round the spiral, all the way around the spiral. 
Oh, man. I feel like I need to light up the inside of this place because it isn't very light. And I looked at this place in the dark and it looks very gloomy. So, yeah. But anyways, here we are. We're at the start of the bridge right here. And, yeah, we now have the task of trying to make this thing look epic. So, here's what we're going to go ahead and do. We're going to start by replacing the cobblestone with wood like this. Okay, and what we're also going to go ahead and do, uh, hmm, how are we going to work this actually? Because I want to go ahead and do something rather like, uh, this. There we go, so we've got like a sort of road kind of deal going on. So that's going to go on that side, and then of course we're going to have the exact same on this side. Hold on, uh, that doesn't need to be there. There we go, let's place that down like that. Yep, there we go. Alright, it's looking good, my friends, that's looking good. Okay, so what I need to do now is replace these two by only having the top slab done. And there we go. So now we can have ourselves a little bit of, uh, you know, texture variation, I guess, and some, uh, some depth to this thing. So it's gonna look, hopefully, pretty dang cool. So what I'm gonna go and do is I'm gonna continue working on this thing, my friends. And yeah, I'll bring you guys a progress update once we have the bridge platform done. Alright guys, so we are back for another progress update and that's to say that I've got the bridge platform done and it is looking pretty damn cool in my opinion my friends. I'm really liking the fact that we've got some stairs here to kind of break up the textures a little bit. I think that works really nicely. Now, what I've done to the side here is I've marked out where the sort of railing kind of things are going to go. It's going to be kind of like a suspension bridge but made out of wood essentially and what's going to happen is these wood logs represent the uh, where it, it represents in between. I don't know what to call them really. Basically what's going to happen is it's going to go from here, go all the way up. This is going to be the center of the place that goes to the top and then it's going to go all the way back down to here and then this larger middle area here is going to go even higher so it's going to seem even more grand. So it's going to go way way up into the sky up until it hits this point and then it goes all the way back down and then once again here this is going to be the same size as the first one that's over there so it's going to go once again up to the center point and then back down. I don't even know what to technically call it. The railings? The suspension bridge area? I don't even know my friends but <laughs> anyways I guess the time has come. I guess the time has come. Oh ye, my friends. I'm kind of looking forward to getting this thing rolling. So we need to go ahead and figure out a way to do this thing. So let's go ahead and do a little bit of that to start off with and yeah what's gonna happen is hmm, actually I've just thought of a better idea. We can have it go in sort of a curved direction, I guess. So something like this. Uh, I'm gonna have to make that like that so I can get the the thingy to go the correct way. So here we go. Now it's gonna go one up. And then here, it's going to go two up. Okay, so it's going to seem like a curve. And I think that's going to look pretty freaking sweet. So there we go. Something like that. All right. And let's have a look at it from the bottom side right here. Okay, get rid of that. Get rid of this. And get rid of this. And then also, we need to get rid of these two blocks up here. There we go. All right, let's have a look at it. Yeah, that's looking good, my friends. That is looking real good. So now what we need to do is the same over this side. So here we go. Something like this. And then we need to make it go up twice once. So there we go. Something like that. And then up twice, twice. So one, two. Nice one. Okay, so I think I've got that little area there done. All right, let's just uh, have a look to make sure. Yeah, look at that. That is looking freaking sweet. And then we need to go ahead and replace this with the logs as well. So here we go. And then there we have it. We've got one of the sides done. That is looking freaking awesome. So now what we need to do is we need to try and figure out how to get these larger ones done. So again, like I said, it's going to be taller and slightly wider. So maybe go three and then a couple twice and then up maybe i think that'd be kind of cool so so this would be two three and then we'll have a two right here and then maybe another two should we have another two eh, i'm not entirely sure i want it to be i want it to be taller so maybe not okay that's not such a good idea maybe what we do is go up once three times then so here we go two and three and then we go up twice a bunch of times one, two, and then this is the center, of course, so here we go. This would go like this. Okay, and then what we need to do is try and mirror it on this side. So two, three, and then two. Okay, and then it'll be three, one. So one, two, <laughs> three, all the numbers with Python GB. Oh, yeah, so fun, isn't it? There we go. All right, so that would be the taller side done, right? 
Okay, once again, let's go ahead and get rid of the uh, the excess, as it were. Uh, we need to go ahead and get rid of the little bits up here as well. There we go. And that should just about do it, right? Yeah? Huh. Okay, I'm kind of liking this so far, my friends. I feel like we're doing a pretty good job of building this bridge on camera. Obviously, we won't get the entire thing done because I need to go ahead and get the filling done. Of course, we're going to use some fences because I think they would be the best looking thing. So, here we go. Let's have a look at it from uh, from this kind of angle. Yeah! Although, this isn't actually that much taller. So, maybe I've made a mistake. Hmm. Okay. I definitely want this one to be noticeably taller than these two uh, side ones here. So, okay. So, I made a mistake here. We need to go ahead and uh, redo this one. And, yeah. I'll get on with it. And I'll bring you guys back with a progress update very shortly. Alright, guys. So, another progress update. And that's to say that these side railing area things are done. And I've managed to amend this central area here to make it noticeably taller than the other two. So, I guess the best way of looking at this would be to uh, look at it from the bottom, I guess. So, oh, man, I love doing that. Unfortunately, my elytra are on the way out, and I do not have a mending book. So, yeah, I'm going to have to get myself another Unbreaking 3 book and get myself some more elytra. It would be nice if we had mending, of course, but, you know, we don't. So that kind of sucks. But anyways, guys, look at it. Looky here. That looks amazing, doesn't it? So what we need to do now is we need to get the fences put in, in between the, well, in the gaps in between the railing areas. And then we also need to do the underside area. I think to finish off the episode, what we'll do is we'll do the top area. And the next episode, probably, we'll go ahead and work on the bottom area. And, of course, lighting it up and making it look pretty. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and get on with this thing, my friends. And I'll be back for the final progress update very shortly. And ladies and gentlemen, here we are for our final progress update. And that's to say that this top section of the bridge is now pretty much done. I actually decided to put some lighting in here anyway, and it is awesome. And I've made sure that the light levels are all above seven, and they indeed are. And as you can see, I've also introduced the use of some leaves in there to make it look just that little bit better. And in my opinion, it does. It does the job real nicely. I even put some glowstone on top of that tip top central railing area there, because I think that would look kind of cool and yeah i'm actually kind of glad that it's nighttime because we'll be able to get to see this thing you know in its full glory once we jump down here i haven't had a look at it from the bottom just yet so this is going to be as much a surprise to me as it is to you guys but oh yo that is sick check it out dudes that is super cool okay let me just head up here real quick oh mate that is super cool, dude. Oh, the shaders really, really make that bridge look just that bit more epic. I kind of want to get a, a slightly better vantage point real quick. Maybe I can get on top of uh, that place right there. That would do the job real nicely. Uh, let's just uh, head up here and we'll get ourselves a proper look. Yeah. That is screenshot for the episode. That is so cool. Yo. That is really, really cool. I'm really happy with how that's come out. Like, I really am. That is super awesome. <laughs> the lighting, the leaves, the fences, the fact that that's a lot taller than the other two pillars right there. Oh, it just works so well. But anyways, guys, I think on that epic note, it is going to be time to end the episode. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy the episode and you are excited to see more, do, of course, be sure to drop a like rating. It'll be super appreciated. And, of course, you can subscribe if you don't want to miss out on future content. Let me know your feedback regarding this bridge in the comments area below. Whether you think I should be adding things or taking away things from this bridge, always open to your guys' suggestions. But like I said, next episode, we'll work on the underside and the supports, of course. So, yeah. Everything's looking good, my friends. Everything's looking good. Hope you guys are enjoying the series. I sure am. But yeah, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one.